figuring this problem out. Um, we can take the derivative, so uh, the derivative of x with respect to y, so y prime is going to be equal to, we're going to use the chain rule here, so um, this can be thought of as sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared, so we pull this down so we get 2 times, and then the derivative of what's on the inside here, which is cosine of x, and then we get um, times what's left in here, so sine of x raised to the 1 power, which is just sine of x, plus similar situation here, except the derivative of the cosines, negative sine of x, and then we get cosine of x left over. And what's really interesting is, um, so this is 2 cosine x sine x minus, pulling this minus sign out, 2 cosine x sine x. These cancel each other out, and the derivative is 0. And I'll just explain this real quick. Um, this does make sense to be 0, because this trig identity sine squared plus cosine squared is the same thing as just, it's equal to 1, and the derivative of a constant 1 is equal to 0. Awesome.